Hello, my name is Sharon Fitzpatrick and welcome to my YouTube channel, Lifestyle with Sharon. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make a really easy mint and chocolate ice cream. And it's got a little bit of a twist to it, so I hope you like it. And if you do like it, do make sure you give it that thumbs up and comment just to say hello, or you like the video, um, let me know what your favourite ice cream is, whatever it is, just make a lovely comment and I'd love to hear from you. And share it with your friends on social media. And if you haven't done so already, do subscribe to the channel, it's free of charge. And if you hit the notification bell, it will just give you that gentle reminder of when the videos come out. So I hope you enjoy it. Right, this is the most amazingly simple recipe going. All you need is your mixing bowl, a whisk if you've got one, and even then there's a way around it if you don't. Mint chocolate bar, you know, with the, the mint stuff inside and the chocolate on the outside. Condensed milk, some cream, food colouring, green. You could use a different colour, but I don't think it would look quite the same. Vanilla extract, peppermint, and some chocolate chips, of course. You can't have a mint ice cream without chocolate chips. And I've just got one of these for one teaspoon and a half teaspoon measurement because these are handy. And that's all you need. Right, so all you're going to do is pour the cream in there ready to whisk. You can do it without whisking. So that's what I'm saying. If you didn't have a whisker, that's fine. But if you do, it's great. So let's just give this a whisk. So as you can see, this is nice and thick now. Then what we do is just add the condensed milk and mix that around. It's looking lovely already. <laughs> I do love homemade ice cream. I'd love to hear in the comments what kind of ice creams you love. I love mint and chocolate and I love strawberry and I love caramel. Let me know what your favourite is and maybe I can make that for another video. So you want to do your half teaspoon of vanilla essence and you want to do two teaspoon of peppermint or two and a half if you really like a, a nice minty one. Now for the fun part we want to add a teaspoon of food colouring and then you just give this mix around. If you were making this with the kids they'd love this wouldn't they? seeing the different colours and make it that beautiful, lovely green colour that we associate with mint ice cream. We don't have to have green, but it just is nice. So make sure you, if you don't give this a proper mix around, it just means that it might be the odd bit of ice cream that you'll have white and the rest will be green, but it's still going to taste the same. It really isn't the end of the world if you have some white bits. Look at that, beautiful colouring. Then we want to add our chocolate chips and just give this a little mix. Hey, of course you can add two packets if you wanted more chocolate chips, nothing wrong with that. Oh, look, my finger's green. <laughs> Got to be careful with this food colouring. Now with the chocolate, you can just break it up in your hand and just sprinkle it over. You can get a grater if you really wanted it really tiny, but I think it's nice with a little bit of chunks in it. You can do a bit of both some grated, some chunks, whatever you want. And again, if you're doing this for the kids, they'd love being sprinkling chocolate into it. It's a good, fun family thing to do. And of course, it's lovely to eat. So of course, with doing this recipe with the chocolate, just bear in mind, you need to get your hands dirty to do this particular bit like this. But if you don't, you can just use a grater. Okay, so as you can see, this looks wonderful. So that's my speciality. My little extra special bit is having that mint chocolate into your ice cream. It just gives it that beautiful flavour and a nice texture too. So we'll just put this in a couple of tubs. So what you want to do is put some cling film over the top of this and just push it down so it's touching the ice cream. There's two reasons for this. One, it prevents the, the freezer burn that sometimes can happen. 
and the other is it stops it from touching the lid because every maybe about twice we want to bring this out the freezer and just give it a stir around but what happens is it all kind of sits on the lid so that stops that from happening so we'll just put the lid on and put that in the freezer and you want that in for at least six hours and as i said maybe every one and a half to two hours take it out and just give it a mix around with a fork so i'll show you this once it's ready right so this has been in overnight i stirred it once with a fork so we're just going to take a look at it now with the ice cream scoop i always put it in a boiling hot water for a few minutes it just makes it easier to actually dish up your ice cream so i'm just going to dish this up now So this is this delicious ice cream. I love this. I've got a few different ones that I love, but I do particularly like this one. So enjoy making yours. Oh, this flavor is lovely and the texture, just perfect. Mmm, lovely. Make sure you share this with your friends. They'll love it. Well, thank you for watching today's video on how to make the lovely mint and chocolate ice cream. So I look forward to doing more videos for you. Okay, take care. Bye.